Hello everyone, Lisa here. Welcome to What's Crafting Wednesday. Uh, sorry I canceled uh, last week at the last minute, but I had my annual tag stamp a stack and we had so much fun and we're having refreshments and chatting afterwards. That time just slipped away. And I also apologize, I just realized that I didn't make my little Facebook announcement earlier today that I will be live tonight, so I hope everyone is here with me. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started with our raffle from two weeks ago. I have the two uh, Tidings of Christmas Clean and Simple cards. Uh, the one I did, um, my sample, and then the slightly stepped up version that I did live. So let's get our tickets in here. And let me grab out that lucky name. Okay, and I have Lucy. Well, congratulations, Lucy. I will get these cards off to you. Thank you everyone for your comments and for joining in with me each week. Okay, today um, we're going to be making a card with the negative die cut, and we will use the Merriest Moments and Banner Year stamp sets. Just put those off to the side, and we'll be using the Painted Christmas DSP that is in the Holiday Mini Catalog, and the Playful Alphabet dies. So aside from uh, the dies, this basically is a stamps, ink, and paper card. Uh, no other embellishments. So I'm using the negative of the die cut. That means I cut out the letters, but I did not use them. I used the negative piece that was left over. And then a little stamping on the inside. And I stamped the back of the envelope this time to resemble the DSP. We'll be using uh, Evening Evergreen cardstock, and that is cut at four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. The DSP is cut at four by five and a quarter, and the basic white on the inside is also four by five and a quarter. And I had this little remaining strip of DSP when I cut the front, so that went on the inside. And the real red is cut at two by four, and the whisper white, um, basic white, is one and a half by four. Okay, so let's get started. We will score our cardstock first, and again, that is scored at five and a half. And nice crease with the bone folder. I'll just start by adding the GSP to the front. So this is another quick and easy card. And just as a reminder, uh, this month is for Facebook Live each week is Fast and Festive Christmas Cards. And then I will adhere my negative die cut to the real red piece. And when you do this, you just want to make sure you get the adhesive in between the letters as well. And it's just going to go in the center of this piece here. And see, I have my little wiggle room. And then I'm just going to adhere it in the center of the card. like so. And then I have my little leftover bits here 
for the R's that we have to add in the middle. Let me see if I can do this without my tweezers. Just going to put a little bit of glue in there. And I think I better use my tweezers to put this down. And I have a little too much glue. Just take some off of there. All right, it looks more like an R now, doesn't it? All right. It is much easier with the tweezers. I get too much glue because then, as we all know, it seeps out, our card gets sticky, our fingers get sticky. Maybe that one wasn't enough glue. Okay. And that is it for the front of the card. Fast and festive. And the inside, I'm just going to stamp the sentiment in real red. And this sentiment is from the Merriest Moment stamp set. Pretty font. I'm always partial to those pretty fonts. And add this little leftover piece of DSP to the bottom. Because we don't ever want to waste anything, right? especially the pretty DSP. And now we will adhere that to the inside of the card. Now tell me, how fast and festive was that? And now we'll have some fun with the envelope flap. Oh, I used Real Red, uh, Evening Evergreen, and Pear Pizzazz for this. And I did start with the Pear Pizzazz. And I did the leaf image from Merriest Moments. And I just stamped it in a few different places. And you want to keep the envelope closed for this because otherwise you will be stamping on the front of your envelope. And then always just turn your stamp as you go along. And then next we'll use the Evening Evergreen. Oh, this is such a nice color, especially for Christmas. Really like the new ink colors this year. And then just go around and fill in in different places on the flap. And then we'll add some real red, give it a little bit of color now. And uh, this little image is from the Banner Year stamp set. And everyone that knows me knows that is one of my favorites and my go-to. Uh, this one, I'm just going to open the flap. Just as I go along the bottom here. And just keep turning the stamp. And just fill in the spaces. Close that now so we can come down a little bit. And maybe we can fit another one in here. I think so. And a little bit there. And some there, and I think that's good. So that was fun, wasn't it? So 
There we have it, our fast and festive negative die cut cards. With the very fun envelope. And then the one that we just made tonight. And the fun envelope. So you may be wondering, what did I do with the die cut since I used the negative for the cards tonight? Well, of course, I did not waste them. I made another card and I made a gift tag. So I made the same card, but the only thing that's different is I reversed the front. I matted first with basic white, then real red, and I used the die cuts that were cut from here to make the card. And I made a tag. I used the die cuts and on the back I stamped. So how fun was this tonight, everyone? Well, do leave your comments. Let me know what you think about the cards um, and the bonus card and tag. Um, do you ever use negative die cuts in your crafting? There's a lot that you can do with it. So and I also have a little bonus for you. Next week, I will be raffling off the two cards from tonight and then I will also uh, pick another name and I will raffle off this bonus card and gift tag. So make sure you leave me comments. You can leave them on my live tonight. Um, I also upload my video to YouTube afterwards and I also post on my blog. So everyone, I wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving if you will be celebrating. Enjoy your turkey. Have a great week until next week. And as always, I hope it's a crafty week. I look forward to your comments and seeing you back here next week. Okay, everyone. Thanks for joining me tonight. See you next week.